good morning everyone so yesterday we have discussed about the swing right so what is swing and what is use of swing so swing is nothing but a part of jsc java foundation classes and it is used to create a gui means window based applications right and uh, we already discussed that awt and swing both are used to create a window based application right but uh, swing is more better than the uh, uh, you can say awt why because swing components are platform independent right means it is not depends on any platform in any operating system and that's why those components swing components are lightweight components right and if you want to develop a swing application then as you know we need to import java x dot swing package right which contains the java swing api like j button j table j text area j checkbox and many more component classes right uh, over here uh, just the this is j and v b is capital and this t is also capital remember this uh, i forgot to uh, change this right okay now this is a swing hierarchy now if you want to create a gui based replication then you must need a container and component we already discussed this right so jframe is nothing but a type of container generally we are using this jframe right so you can create a jframe by extending the jframe class or by creating the instance of jframe so and these are these are method you need to write in each and every program right we have already discussed this methods right add to add component set layout to set layout of uh, in frame set size to set the size of your frame which contains width and height of the frame set visible as we have discussed that uh, by default your frame is uh, invisible so you need to call this method and make it true right and set title is to set title of your frame so this is the simple example where i am extending the j frame whenever you are extending the j frame at the time in constructor call all this method and then call that constructor right and another way is just uh, create a uh, object of the j frame right so over here i am creating the object object name is the frame so using this object need to call all these methods right remember this if we are creating the object then use this object name to call all this method and if you are extending the j frame at the time you can call all this method directly without using any object because indirectly this class this example uh, inherits this j frame right let's try so this is about the j frame and yesterday we have discussed about this one component which is j label so all these are the component right or uh, i mean sorry constructor of the j label right you can create j label empty blank you can create a j label with some string means some uh, means uh, uh, you can say a uh, message you can create a j label with icon right this image icon is nothing but one class right so object of image icon and you can create a j label with string image icon and with alignment right in the alignment left right or center so this is simple example create a j label l1 object instantiate it with some name and if you want to put image then just create a object of image icon and path pass the path of the image and then just uh, pass this object of image icon in this j label this bracket is by mistake forgot this so this is the simple example of the j label next one is the j text field as you know text field is nothing but a single line text that allow you to edit that text right single line remember this text field it is used for single line text right so j t both are capital this t 
J T text means J text and field F is capital, right? These are the constructors of the J text field you can create in this way, right? You can create a J text field blank, blank text field. You can create a text field with some uh, with fixed number of column means number of bytes, right? With some by default mean initializing string and with uh, initializing string plus number of character now theoretically you are not able to understand this right so this is the example right j text field this is the class t1 this is the object equal to new j text field now 20 i am passing 20 20 is nothing but the number of column you can say it is a number of bytes right so we will do this practically don't be confused right and j text field t2 i am creating another text field right with some initializing string and with fixed number of character right so let's do it practically right so open your netbeans right so in netbeans this is our last program whatever we have discussed yesterday right so just one minute so just create a j text field t1 and t2 i'm going to create a two text field over here right okay now oh spelling sorry so j text field t1 and t2 let me remove these levels right i don't want this now so j text field t1 and t2 so instantiate it with t1 equal to new j text field right okay right now i am not giving any values right and i am creating another j text field right and over here i am passing some value suppose 20 now what is difference between these two so if you want to display then add these components in to the frame right so now run this program Oh, something goes wrong. Container. J text field. Oh, this is T2. Run this again. So, see over here i am passing see this is the first text field i am not passing any number of columns and over here i am passing the value 20 which is the number of columns or you can say number of bytes right so if you want text field like this then pass some argument and if you are not passing at that time it remains blank suppose i am passing 10 right so now you can observe this output right this is the size of your text field right this is 10 and this is 20 okay now i want to write something by default i want to initialize my text field with some string right then pass some string and number of bytes now let observe this output so see some by default string is there right if you want to give so this is what uh, j text field in this way you can create the object of j text field and add into your container right so this is a simple example of j text field whatever example i have given in this ppt
this is just a demo of this example right so it's very easy now next component is button right so which button you can you can create a button with label or with image right so this is the simple j button without any image or without any label this is the constructor right this is the constructor of j button with some label and this is constructor of j button with some image icon with, with some image and if you want to put image then pass the object of image icon let me show you the example see this is the example of j button create object of j button j button b1 equal to new j button and pass the object or I am I'm instantiate the object of image icon directly and pass this path of the image right it is used to display a image button right or oh, this is the simple button with label so this, this is the j button b2 equal to new j button and login login is nothing but the label right and add this button into your frame so this is very simple let uh, let me show you this with example means with practical so this is our program right so right now i am removing this okay so in this program create a j button right j button suppose p right so simple instantiate this button object new j button and pass the label suppose login i want to pass the label login right so what i am doing i am just creating the button login and add this button into your free right so it's easy now let me run this program so login right so this is your button so in this way you can create a button so it's very easy so first component is label second component is j text field and third component is button j button right now next next component is text area right so text area now what is difference between text field and text area so text field we are generally using text field to create a single line text and text area used for multiple line right uh, uh, i think you all of you have observed a registration form so in registration form uh, there is one field address right so for address you can uh, create for address you can create a text area or if you if anyone want to give feedback or anyone want to write uh, some description at the time create a text area right so these are the constructor of the text area so this is a, a default constructor of text area j text area right this is nothing but the class right now this is the constructor with some initializing right if you want to create a text area with some initialization one with some string with some text right at the time use this constructor if you want to give uh, some number of rows and columns right fix size to the text area then use this constructor and if you want to create some um, means text area with fixed number of row and size means with fixed size and with some default string then use this constructor right so let me show you the example create object of j text area please don't forget how to write j capital t capital and a capital camel case letter right so j text area this is the object ta equal to new j text area this is which type of constructor with by default string right and add this into your frame let me show you this with example right in netbeans so create a j text area object suppose ta right j text area and its object is j text area is nothing but a class component it is one type of component it is a class inside this java x dot swing package 
right and instantiate it with this j text area right over here suppose i am creating this blank right and add ta now observe the output this is your text area but i am not able to see because i have created it blank right so you need to pass some rows and columns right so this is nothing but your text area you can write multiple lines in this right so this is a number of rows and number of columns whatever size i am passing over here right and if you don't want to pass a size and if you want to give some suppose if you want to give some message right like this in text area by default string by default message then this is the welcome to mu this is the size of the text area by default right and if you want to give some size suppose 10 and 10 then this is the by default message in text area this is the width and this is it means row and columns number of rows and number of columns right so observe output this is your text area right this is by default string and this is number of means this is the size of text area right so it is very simple right text area now let move to the next component which is chat box right so chat box this is used for multiple selection right so Uh, multiple selection so j check box uh, this is the default constructor right then and this is the check box with some label right and if you want some default selection at the time J check box with string and some boolean value, right? Default selection. So this is the example. J check box CB one equal to new J check box, and I am passing the some label, right? C plus plus. Suppose this is my first check box. Now this is the second check box CB two equal to new J check box Java, and by default it is the true. right let me show you this example right uh one minute just observe this program uh just one minute someone is coming right one minute Uh, sorry for this one. So, same way, create the J check box, right? So, J check box. Oh, sorry, check box, right? But I think B is capital, right? J check box. Oh, sorry, small J check box. No. Then what is problem? Our J check box. check box 1 and suppose check box 2 i am creating the 2j check box right now cb1 equal to new j check 
box right and cb2 equal to new j check box right over here i am passing something uh, singing suppose my hobby singing right now add these two check box cb1 and add cb2 right let me show you by running this program what is the output of this program see this is the checkbox but without any label and this is the checkbox checkbox with label right so checkbox means if you want to create any multiple selection in your geo application at that time we are using the checkbox right so let me then say right whatever label you want to keep and suppose i want to mark this checkbox as a by default tick right then see by default it is marked right so these are the different type of checkbox you can create right checkbox with some label and if you want default mark means default selected at the time pass the true as a second argument in this checkbox right so this is a simple example of this checkbox right Uh, just with label or j checkbox with mark true right means mark default default uh, selected right so this is the simple component j checkbox now next component is j radio button as you know this uh, that this j radio button is not available in uh, awt right but this radio button component is available in this uh you can say in this swing right so j radio button this is the default constructor right j radio button with label like a check box if you want to give some label with radio button then j radio button and pass a some string and third constructor as uh, as per check box as as like as check box this is the label with default selected if you want to put one default selected at the time pass true right so these are the constructor and this is the example of j radio button right so j radio button r1 equal to new j radio button i am creating one radio button which is male label is male and another radio button new radio button which is female so let me uh give you the example right in netbeans so j radio button r1 comma r2 right i am creating two uh, radio button so let's instantiate r1 equal to new j radio button suppose main right and r2 equal to new j radio button female right so over here i am creating the two radio buttons male and female and i am going to add this radio button in my frame right so add r1 don't forget to do this right add component otherwise you are not able to see this so let me run this program and observe the output so these are the two radio button but see i am able to select the both, both button right which is not a true radio button means only one selection either select male or female so over here i am just creating the radio button but uh, here i am able to uh what you can say i am able to select the both the button right so i don't want to do like this so see remember whenever you are creating the radio button at the time create a object of button group right button group means you are putting these two radio button inside this one button group which make you able to select only one button at a time right so let me uh, show you with example suppose button group suppose here uh, its object is dt equal to new 
button group right so i am creating the object of button group and object is bg now in this bg add r1 means in this button group add r1 and in this button group add r2 so now what i am doing let me explain you this again see first of all i am creating the two radio buttons r1 and r2 i am adding this two radio button in this bg bg means in this button group which make me enable to uh, to select only one button at a time so let me show you this run this program right now see over here i am able to select only one button at a time either male or female right so remember this whenever you are creating the radio button at the time don't forget to uh, forget to create a button group right right which provides you to select only one button at a time right so this is the example of radio button simple right now next one is the combo box right now combo box is nothing but a drop down drop down means in uh, in awt it is a choice right but in swing it, it, that class name is j combo box right so constructor of this j combo box is nothing but a j combo box this is the default constructor and j combo box with list right list means number of items you want to put in that combo box right so let uh, let me show you this example suppose i am creating one string array which is, which name is city right this is nothing but a string array and i am passing the two argument rajkot and jamnagar and whatever number of argument you want to pass you can right now create the object of j combo box which is over here it is c equal to new j combo box and i am passing that array means array name ct right and add this j combo box in your free so let me show you with uh, example in netbeans right now remove this okay so j combo box right suppose combo box c so i am creating let me uh, first of all let me create one string array so string suppose array city i want to create a, a combo box for city suppose rajkot right then surat then chandnagar that's it right i am creating the array what happened oh this is array right so don't forget to uh, put this bracket right so this is nothing but my string array and uh, this is uh, strings right which contains the city name now instantiate the object of j combo box j box j combo box and pass the city name inside this j combo box right and then add uh, combo box in your free so this this is nothing but a drop down list i am creating a drop down list for a city name right which is very simple right it is like this surat chandnagar and see combo box is available in awt but in, uh, class name is choice not a combo box right so remember if you are doing programming with awt at the time class name is choice to create this combo box and in swing class name is j combo box right which contains a number of items and this number of items so for that i am creating one array right so which is a very simple right so uh, this is the example of j combo box now next component is list right actually uh, this is uh, this is used to create a list right so list this is the constructor default constructor of this list and this is the list with number of values 
number of values means in this list i am passing the list of item and list of items which is inside the array let me show you this example right so string item i am creating the array of items and i am put i am passing the name of the array inside this list constructor j list constructor and add this j list in your frame let me show you this with example right and keep it all here this let me show you uh, list l right and uh, create another string array item a, right so don't forget this bracket so suppose items are i1 items are i2 whatever item is i3 right suppose i am adding three item while i am keeping this j combo box to i want to show you what is difference between j combo box and j list so create a j list right and add suppose this item whatever number of array is this right uh, item J list oh, so Create a method J list. Oh, sorry. New J list, right? And uh, I'm instantiate the J list, and I'm passing this string array over here, right? Now run this program, right? List is not visible because I forgot to add list into the my frame, right? So add. Don't forget to add. Now run this program. So this is what a list, right? So let me add more number of items in this. So this is list, right? And suppose, see, this is list, but this is not looks good, right? So what I am doing, I don't want this. Let me keep this as it is. Remove this and instead of item, pass the size. But over here, I think I am not able to pass the size of the list. Right, which is not, okay, this constructor is not available, right? But if it is AWT, right? If it is AWT, then in AWT, you can create a list like this. Uh, add suppose AWT list, right? And pass the size, right? And then list dot add, suppose one, list dot add, oh sorry, two. one two right let me decrease the size of this list right again i am adding one and two right so now run this program now see list look like this right so this is nothing but the list right so these are the components, right? So, list, right? If you want to create list, then combo box, right? Means choice, drop down box, radio button, if you want to give any only one selection, right? Then checkbox, multiple selection, text area, if you want to give multiple lines, right? Then J button, right? and j text fields single line text and label so these are the basic components of swing 
if you want to create a simple geo application then these components are enough right so this is what about the theorizations of the swing right now let's do a practical right so today uh, just uh, create a simple see I want to create a simple login form, right? So simple login form. So if you want to create a simple login form at the time, that form let me delete all this, right? So let me show you this in paint. Simple login form means which contains one frame, right? inside the frame one two two text fields right two text field right then two labels means username and another label is password right and one button right suppose button is login right so this is the simple login form username password and login right so let's start this program in NetBeans. So in this simple login form we need two labels right two text field and one button right. So in this program first of all create object of two text field. So two text field t1 and t2 right t1 and t2 another one is two labels so j label l1 and suppose l2 oh sorry I, l1 and l2 two labels right and one button j button right suppose b so i am just uh, creating an object reference of text field two text field two label and one button now let me instantiate this t1 equal to new text sorry j text field and size is suppose 20 right another text field is t2 equal to new j text field and size is suppose again 20 right now label so label equal to l1 equal to new j label and label name is suppose user name now another l2 equal to new j label and password right so i am creating two labels j labels right l is capital right and one button b equal to new j button and oh u is not capital button and button name is suppose login right so this is the simple i am just creating the object j text field two text field i want i want two labels and i want one button right now okay now some of the method which are with uh, those methods are uh, compulsory in this program right swing programs uh, yesterday we have discussed set visible true set title set layout all those things right so uh, my abbreviation is jf and tab right so it is going to come automatically this is the very useful of uh, an option in netbeans right so set visible true size suppose 200 200 right 
and location is this uh, my login form okay my login form i want to set right uh, not my login form only right and exit on close default operation so this is the simple uh, your simple swing program but you are not able to see this in your frame because I am not adding. Now add this component, right? So first of all, add level one, which is your username. Second component is text field D1, near to see this. First label, second one is text field D1. Third one is label L2. Fourth one is your text field D2. And fifth one is your button B. So, same when I add L2, then add T2, right? And at last, add button B, right? So, what I am doing, this is the simple step. Whenever you want to create a simple application, at the time, first of all, extend the frame, first step. Second step, whatever component you want in that frame, just create an object or instantiate those components, right? Add those components on that frame, right? And these are the some uh, basic methods, necessary methods for the frame, right? So call all this method. Or uh, one more thing you can write, you can call all this method inside this public static void main also, right? Both are true. Now let me run this program. So login. Why I'm, because I have not set, as I told you that by default layout this frame is card layout. And card layout means take of the card. You are not able to see all these component. Only top most the component you are able to see in card layout. Right? This component overrides all these components. So I need to set layout. Suppose set layout, call method set layout and pass the object of any layout manager. Suppose I am passing the object of flow layout. Right, I need to import package for this flow layout. Right, this is the package Java AWT. Remember, all these layouts are inside the AWT. Right, so this is your frame. Right, uh, username, password, and login. Right, so this is just uh, just uh, uh, what we can say change the size of the frame for this. Right. Now see this is the simple application in which uh, let me change the sorry let me change the size of the frame suppose 250 and 50 right so this is my simple login form right login form this is the title this is a frame with these buttons right menu this is username label text field password now see password field i am see this character i am able to see in this password field but i don't want this characters right i want dot dot something in this password field so that is one i think class i forgot to add in this uh, ppt password field right one class in swing package which is j password field specifically for the password provide encryption right so create let me comment this t2 right now right and t equal to new j password field right so I am creating the password field instead of text field for the password, right? And instead of T2, add T password field, right? Uh, let me show you this by running this program. So text field is an MS character, but password I am not able to see. It's dot 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 dot, right? So this is what password field 
so whenever i want to create a password field at the time component is j password field so for password field don't use this text field create a object of j password field i forgot to add this uh, password field in your ppt but just take a screenshot of this uh, how to use this j password field it is simple just remember this password instead of this text right in awd there is no any component like password field right in awd if you want to set a password field at the time method is echo character method is set echo character and pass suppose i am passing a star oh, star at the time instead of character star is going to come right so this is the method in awt but in swing remember this password field which is used to set a password right so this is the simple program of uh to create a simple gui application right right okay now one more benefit of swing is what drag and drop is available for this awt and swing right i have not started i have not started this uh, swing with drag and drop because in exam there is no drag and drop right so you need to write the program so you must know how to write a program manually to create this application but let me show you uh, the simple way how to how you can create this ui application easily by using the j drag and drop facility right so create a new project suppose java application right next suppose this is my frame 1 i don't want to create this main class right don't forget don't uh, deselect this my frame name is f1 me sorry my project name is f1 and finish right so this is uh, so at left hand side you can see let me minimize all these things so at left hand side you are able to see this f1 project right so go to this f1 and go to this source package right so what are these steps first of all create new project right and deselect that main right and left hand side you are able to see this project f1 now go to this source package there is one default package inside this source package right so right click on this default package again i am repeating go to the that project in source package right click on this default package new click on the new and add j frame form right go to the default package right click i am again repeating right click new and go to the j frame form right and suppose this is my give name to your j frame so suppose my frame name is my frame and finish right so you can see this frame automatically create right no need to write any code this is design going to come automatically and uh, right hand side you are able to see all the swing containers and component all the controls are already available right okay now as uh, we have discussed previously panel is uh, what uh, what is use of this panel it is used to create a sub window in this frame right so what i want i want just i want this type of uh, picture but i want to give title over here which is the uh, login form in another panel right so these two things this is i want to give title right i want to give different background color over here right here i want to give different background color and here i want to give different background color right 
so in this one frame we need to create a two panel one is title and another one this these components right with this component so click on this panel and drag it over here so this is your first panel first sub window in this four uh, frame right now this is the first panel for login for your title and again select this and place drag and place this drop right drag and drop so this is my first panel and this is my second panel and adjust height width according to your requirement so this is first panel and this is next panel right so this is my panel number one and right hand side you are able to see the properties right of this panel one and right hand side this is the property see this is j panel 2 properties of panel 2 if it is not visible over here then just click right click on this and go to the properties right all these properties again for panel 2 right click on this panel 2 and go to this property these are the properties right so suppose i want some color a different color over here background color then just click on this frame go to the property there is one background color is there right background color in this property click on this button and select whatever color you want to give and ok again for panel 2 i want different background color so click on this panel go to this property over here there is one option background select this button with three dots right gives you this kind of color panel right so suppose this is uh, this what I want as a background so this is my login form right with two panels with different background color now I want to set title right so for title if you want to write any string at the time you must need label so over here one swing control is label just select drag and drop over here right just click on this and edit the text suppose login space form i'm selecting i'm changing the text login form right if you want to just double click on this or right click on this and edit text whatever option you want to choose right in both way you can you are able to uh, change the text of this label right now this is a very small font i want to change this font and i want to make it big right so just click on this label go to the property one option is font is there right in font click on this three buttons three a dot button right okay so i want font bold i want uh, font whatever right no. i want font like this and size of the font 30 24 right and okay so this is what the my login form right looks like this right whatever font you can set right and the size again i want to increase the size suppose 36 okay right so increase the size of the label right like this right so this is the login form whatever uh, type of form you can select right okay now i want to design form like this two with two labels two text fill and one button so again select label and drag and drop now edit text username right again select label oh user name right click on double click on this password right so this is username and why password right so these two are the label username and password 
now we want the text field right so over here you can see text field and password field both are available right so for username select the text field drag and drop over here i don't want any uh, default you see sometimes if you click double click on that field source will come right whatever code for that frame right again go to this design edit text and i don't want anything so keep it plain right and as i keep it plain so size decreased right so set size whatever size what you want to set right again this is for username for password don't select this text field for password select the password field right again edit text and make it blank right and set the size of the password field right if you want to increase the size of this then go to this property and go to this font and increase the size right suppose 12 14 okay right font and size is suppose 14 okay so this is username and password this is title this is text field this is password field right now i want one button which is login so click on this button drag and drop over here and edit text i want to give text log in right and this is my button login so this is very easy right with uh, using drag and drop facility you are able to design form or any gui application very easily right your code is going to come automatically in this source state by default right automatically going to come so this is just a designing part simple uh, designing of login form if you want to see preview then click on this button with this i right preview button so whenever i run my uh, frame at the time it will come like this right so this is my source let me run this program so it is going to execute it it, it is going to look like this right so this is my button this is my text field this is my password field right and this is one panel with title this is another panel which contains all these components so it's very easy and very simple with drag and drop but you must remember all these uh, component classes and how to do program how to create these applications manually right for exam purpose so up to this I am resting my session over here, right? So I hope you understand all these things very well. Let me go quickly, right? So J label, if you want to create label or want to put image text field for single line text, right? You can give, uh, you can create a blank text field or text field with uh, number of uh, columns or with some default string, right? Then button button with image or button with some label if you want to create button with image then pass the object of image icon which contains the path of the image or with label then next text area text field for single line and text area for multiple line right so give uh, you can give a default string and uh, you can give the size uh, by comma second argument as a row and third argument as a Colon, right and checkbox if you want to give multiple selection options right at that time you can use the checkbox checkbox with some label and if you want default any one checkbox default selected then you can keep second value as a true for that particular checkbox see this this is only label without selection and this is the uh, checkbox with label java with default selection true right Another one is radio button. This radio button facility is not available in uh, radio button class is not available in AWT, right? You can create like a checkbox. You can create a radio button with string or with label and default selection. But remember one thing. 
if you are creating just radio button then you are able to select both radio button but i want to select only one button at a time right so create an object of button group don't forget remember this with radio button and add this two radio button in this button group which make you select only one button at a time right third one is combo box combo box is nothing but a drop down list or you can say choice in awt so combo box contains the array which is a list of items right so this is the list of item this is the array of the string contains number of items and pass that array inside the j checkbox constructor right and list again list in list you can pass the array right so create the array of the string and pass that array inside the list so these are the basic components of swing and we have uh, we have done uh, we have completed one program which is simple program to create a login form which contains two text field uh, not te one text field uh, then one password field two labels and one button so create object of all this component add all this component into the your frame and make a uh, set layout make your frame visible true set size of your frame if you want to set location where you want to open your frame then set location if you want to give title then set title and set default close operation to close to stop running your program right and i have discussed how to use this drag and drop facility so just use just select drag and drop your whatever uh, controls you want to use whatever type of gui application you want to design right and for this property just click on that component and go to this property to change foreground background color to set size to set fonts uh, size everything right so this is the very simple and interesting topic right hope you enjoyed this lecture and thank you very much for listening me and thank you very much and stay at home and stay safe thank you